Hello my friends and welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the newly released Conan Bulk Filler King Size. This is the Wild Tiger variant. Recently the Conan team have been added and have been releasing relatively frequent batches of the Bulk Filler King Size. Previously they had released the Clear Demonstrator and more recently they released Wild Tiger. Very very beautiful pen. And most recently they have come up with the all orange wild tiger. We're going to dig in and see what they have sent. I opted for extra fine gold nib. And they have tested this out. There's the pen. Looks beautiful. I did add the tool to disassemble and clean the pen. Ex excuse the inky fingers. This is an extra charge for the tool set. It so makes sense in some regards because if you have more than one of these pens, you don't need more than one tool. So if they included that for free with each pen it would cost them some and then it would not really add anything in terms of value so it would make sense but for a first time bulk filler buyers it would be nice to have that included in the box i already had one from a previous purchase so this was not entirely necessary but i still opted for one so here we go there's the pen very nice very very attractive beautiful pen body even the cap is a demonstrator it is semi-translucent the top has the usual logo i think this logo refers to their filling mechanism the bulk filler mechanism the clip is similar to previous conids in fact these might be interchangeable so you have to be careful the clip seems to be made of titanium i think it gives it a good weight otherwise the acrylic would feel quite cheap and have that problem with the acrylic vacuum filler from from gravitas they have this vac filler that's pretty sturdy cap but in the absence of a clip kind of feels cheap like it's going to break this is similar to other bulk filler king size pens and the titanium's brush titanium that's not polished the body of the pen let's start with the nib I opted for 14 karat extra fine nib and really really hoping that this nib performs well because I know from history that bulk extra fine nibs have a little bit of difficulty with quality assurance from distance this nib looks okay the feed is made of ebonite the section is translucent and you can see the the nib housing there it's pretty the threads here are nicely polished actually and you can't even really feel them when you hold it in hand the overall size of the bulk filler king size is perfect for my grip and my hand size i have the other titanium version which is the best ergonomically for my hand and i'm very impressed by the balance the overall balance of the pen and really have no critiques when it comes to that so we can see the secondary ink reservoir it's a little bit opaque i wonder if they just washed it and there's the breeze in the ink reservoir for a pen that's very nicely crafted beautifully made that has got to be taken care of before the pen leaves the store it's easy to clean that the nib section comes out very easily and i do have the tools to remove the rest of the pen but a pen a premium pen at this price level should not come from the factory like that I don't have a lot of design suggestions for Conant, but their quality check has got to improve. And then moving up, the barrel is the same orange color as the, the cap. This is the difference between this and the previous Wild Tiger bulk filler. The piston ring, smooth opening. I pull it back. I feel like this, a lot of rubbing going on and a little bit of silicone is needed there so i'm going to do that myself how we fill this 
pen is that you unscrew this and bring it back keep unscrewing and that will engage the piston mechanism the bulk filler mechanism and that releases the little piston and then you can pump this back and forth so this is it's very rough to operate and this is the problem i had with the first one too all it takes is a little bit of greasing silicone grease here and over there and that's also not greased you can see that it's kind of like very rough it's very rough going back and forth so i can't really like use this pen to pump ink in and out so i'd have to again it's another thing i have to do myself um i am very adept at using pens and fountain pens and playing with them and open them and closing them but you know a first time conant buyer would be quite disappointed with this level of inattention to quality and uh, workmanship so i hope they take this to the drawing board and kind of pay attention to this so the whole body of the pen is nicely finished overall the pen is beautiful it's very good feeling in hand it seems like ergonomically, like I mentioned previously, it is really perfect for my hand size. And I can't wait to ink this actually and see how that nib performs. Before I do that, I will do a comparison of this pen with some of the other pens, including Conant's bulk fillers. So there they are. There are here are the three Conant bulk fillers that have been released in this year. That's the clear body with the drill in cap and titanium ends. This is the this version of the Wild Tiger and this is the previous version of Wild Tiger that was released I think it was in July 2nd it seems like they're all made from the same mold they all look beautiful but let's compare them to some of the more common suspects this is the Mont Blanc 149 and extra extra fine the Wingsong 630 it's the Pelican M1000 as fine V200 very very formidable lightweight that punches way above its weight class. Pilot Custom 743 and 823. 823 is the same size. You have a Lamy 2000. Pilot Custom 845 Orushi. Here we're gonna have the Pilot Custom Orushi, the big brother. And it's gonna be Sailor King of Pen, Clear Demonstrator on the other end. So those are some size comparisons. I think Conan pretty much holds its own against all of these heavy hitters. We'll just check the nib on the new king size. It's number eight bulk nib. My Asfine is carrying the pilot number 15 nib. Pilot Custom Arushi carrying pilot's number 30 nib. Pelican M1000. And we'll have Blanc 149. So there's a look and a size comparison of these beautiful bulk filler king sizes. The newer. The next thing we're going to do is ink this up and see how it writes. Before I do that, I just want to do a close-up examination of this ink reservoir. There are a little bit more debris in there. They need to be cleaned. The other thing I need to do prior to inking this pen is fix this piston. So for all those who don't do this every day, when you're opening, opening a pen like this, that you can put the tool in the grooves, what you want to do is push this all the way in and screw it in so that it doesn't release. And this is especially true of the Mont Blanc 149s when you try to disassemble them. Because otherwise you're going to scratch that part.
See how much smoother that is? First, I'm just gonna flush this. If you look at the nib section, it has that little oval shape opening that the nib sits in. So if you take the nib out, you'd have to try to put it the exact direction that it was pulled out of because these even are directional, which side is up and down. We'll put some silicone grease on here to make sure we don't have a leak. Always holding up and down. Making it snug. Month long Olympic Heritage Red comes to mind. So I really like it. For the writing sample, I'm going to use my favorite, favorite trusty Clairefontaine 90 GSM paper. So briefly, I will have to do a writing sample with this one too. This is the previous Wild Tiger. Unfortunately, the nib on that one was not working well. It was cut unevenly. So I had asked the fine folks at Pen World to get me a new nib, which was sent with the new pen. Um, the one I got 
recently, the Wild Tiger. So this nip I put on here and I want to try and see if this nip performs any better. The other one was collecting fibers and was very scratchy and toothy. This one seems to be cut more even. But unfortunately, just without even riding with it, I can see that this has the problem with the V-shaped slope of the tines when they're cut. They are kind of separated in a V fashion that sometimes traps ink. And so if you see the tines are touching at the bottom and towards the top, they're separated. And that still would produce not extra fine lines and it would actually hard start and cause some problem in using. Not to mention, this is this third nib they're sending me. The original nib was sent with the original pin. The replacement nib that was sent to me was unfortunately titanium. So that was a little mix up because I had previously ordered titanium bulk filler. So that's, I'm not upset about that. But this pin, it seems like it's cut more evenly. Nonetheless, the tines are touching each other in a non-uniform fashion and this is going to cause some problems with writing including hard starts maybe even skipping and scratchiness and if you want to work on your nibs and tune them what you don't want to do is try to smooth a nib that's not evenly the tines are not even or there's a problem with time alignment you don't want to go and smooth those because then you will make them organically uneven so Maybe this pen will perform good. This nib was tested before it was sent to me. I'm starting to wonder whether they just dip this nibs, these nibs, test them, and then send it. So if you look at the top of the nib, you see that it is wider than it should be, right? So we want the time towards the end of the, the tip of the nib. We want it to, to be almost touching each other. Not only they're not, they're kind of like spread apart evenly throughout the whole slit. So that would be, actually that would be an easy fix because you can just put the times together and you can scissor them together and they will come closer. The problem is that on the other side of this nib, the tines are touching. So this is kind of like top of the nib. They're like this. As opposed to just being close to each other like normal. They're like this. So the tops are kind of like a V-shape. Separate. Depending on what ink we put in this pen now, it's going to misbehave and take a long time to start. You saw how hard it started. I have inked this pen since last night. And the cap seals very well. I know what the ink size is. The caps are very well sealed. Now, it finally started in flow, but when I stopped using it and shut the valve off and tried to restart writing with it, it does the same thing. So this is unfortunately been recurring since yesterday when I started using this thing. My overall impression about this pen is that it's amazing, it's beautiful, very, very nice. Of course, there is also demand and supply mismatch, 
many many people want this pen that cannot get it but you know if you're on the hunt for the tiger you will find one eventually and get one these pens are amazing um, I keep them I have three of them and I write with them every day there's not a day goes by that I don't write with pretty much all three of these in addition to a few other pens of mine but the cons unfortunately are there and they include the very hefty price tag of course comes with the demand and supply mismatch the other con includes poor quality control on the nibs the two titanium nibs that I've looked at from Conan are fine they're fine in size actually also looking at them they look just all right uh, the the gold nibs I've tried that's a big con for the Conan pens hopefully that they address this issue I don't know if they get it a lot of complaints about this or am I the first one it seems like I'm the only one that's having this problem haven't seen a lot of complaints about the bulk fillers mostly probably because most of us that get the bulk filler we don't get it to put a coned nib in there we don't use the coned nibs I actually use a variety of nibs this is a sailor king of pen nib and I also use the Mont Blanc 149 nibs on there and my favorite most favorite nib of all times in any pen ever Pilot Custom Urushi number 30 nib for Pilot so most people that get the Conan bulk filler they get it for that reason so I imagine most of us just put it in the box put the original nib in the box and leave it somewhere nonetheless that's an issue that I hope Conan addresses in the near future. The other con that I've noticed is that these pens, despite being very, very well crafted, their final quality check is very poor. I don't know who does that, but they need to listen up. I shouldn't find debris inside a barrel of a brand new Conan bulk filler king size. I have found debris in two out of three of these pens. It's easy to flush those out and clean them out for someone that's you know used to playing with fountain pens i enjoy doing that but it should not it should actually be done in the in the factory even before they uh, package the pen so i hope they listen to this in the future do i recommend this pen for the masses it's out of reach for most average um, fountain pen enthusiasts i'm hoping in the future Conan makes more affordable versions of their pens especially the bulk for a king size Will I buy these pens again? Yes. If um, I find another Conan bulk filler king size in a different color, I would probably get that. I have a couple more Mont Blanc nibs that I need to fit in in uh, a couple more Conan. But I hope and pray that Conan stops making all these special editions because they're making us go bankrupt. Just make the usual, the regular clear demonstrator with a steel titanium or drilling cap and there are a lot of buyers still for those pens so please Conan stop making all these special editions my so those are my thoughts on these pens beautiful pens excellent excellent customer service I really like the pen world customer service Conan has done very nicely and I'm hoping that those uh, concerns are addressed in the near future if you have any questions please do let me know and I'll do my best to answer them as soon as possible Otherwise, thank you for sticking around for this very long-winded review, and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.